Hi guys, let's make a video how to install our ISOs. There are three ISOs at this point in time. I'm gonna clone this guy here and the first I'm gonna tackle is called ArcoNet. I can select it like this, cool, and then go maximize. So you burn the ISO, download it, burn the ISO on USB, then you pop it in, you get this if you have a newer system. This is a sandbox in VirtualBox. It thinks it's a new machine. You are fine, right? Most of the people uh, will have this one. And yes, if you have real old computers, then you will get something graphical, nice, bias. But otherwise, it's the black thing. You are fine. Two blocks, three lines, three lines. First block is all about the Linux kernel. We've been using it like six years, no problem with it, it's fine. The second block is the Linux Zen kernel, right? Some distros use the Zen kernel, others use, right? Choice, it's always the same thing, choice. Um, the thing is, we later on we'll need to get online. Getting online, having the drivers is important and the Linux kernel can help you with that. So the Arconet, so the Arconet has Linux and Linux N. The Arco Pro has Linux and Linux LTS, and the Arco Plasma has Linux and Cache OS. He's on probation. We'll try it out. Okay. So all of our choices all the time. See that you can get online with any of our ISOs, basically, and you're good to go. Then the three lines. This line here that we're looking at, the white line, is for Intel and AMD. This line is for in NVIDIA, the newer NVIDIA cards that work with NVIDIA DKMS. All the others need to go, others in the sense of NVIDIA guys, need to go for safe graphics, no mode set, and install the 340 or other drivers. Anything on virtual machine, like QMU, VirtualBox, GNOME boxes, VMware, right? They choose this line or that line. This is just a choice in kernel, but basically these lines say no NVIDIA. They blacklist it. So you boot up. Should be 10 seconds faster. We made some efforts in the Calamaris department, four days of work, or even five, I think, beginning of the Easter holiday. One of the things these days, again, right? Updates, updates. They're just on the receiving end. Control F used to work. Control F and it went full screen, right? So no matter, we'll do it the old way. Keep, close and done. So that's what we get. We've got an XFCE, which is turned upside down. It used to be here. Icons were Sardi, now they're surfing. And that's it. We get a new welcome app in the sense that we have a new choice. Two things, major important things. This is you're on the beach offline, right? And that what you see is, is what you're gonna get. So this will be installed on your system bit by bit. Cool. You'll have an XFCE. This one is your XFCE is going to be removed and you need to choose. This button matters because you want to have a fast installation. You click the button, whether you're in Australia or South America, it knows where you are. It's going to look for the fastest servers, going to change them, and the installation will go fast. I'm living in Belgium. If I take the service from Australia, it will take me hours. 
to install it. It's the distance, right? So updating update arch mirrors is important. Maybe this is important as well. You know yourself. How many partitions did you use? How are you mixing things together and getting stuck? Or do you have one operating system per SSD? That's our advice. So anything that is here marked, click on it, delete it, click, delete, click, delete, and then apply it and start from scratch. That's good for any, any operating system alike, Mac, Windows, Linux alike. Okay, that leaves us, let's go for it, right? So this is an option, install grub, the three choices. And I'm gonna explain, well, show you this one, which is basically the installer you see everywhere. This is, where do you live? What keyboard do you want? Oops. How do you want to do things? Often we don't have that many choices and they restrict people to ButterFS, for example, or XFS, and that's it. I give you all the choices you choose. Next, you put in your name. Yeah, make sure it's the same password, just the detail. And the next, and off you go, right? That's the easy installation. What you're gonna get is this. Then you use Sofuram, you install some more, and be done. Or scripts, of course. The advanced online thing is, well, first of all, make sure you're online. Some countries need these special VPN connections, right? So add them, there are lots in there. I've never used them, don't know it. Well, played with it, but we don't use it in Belgium not necessary but there it is advanced installation online will remove xfce so you better choose a desktop that's the message right again here we have the choices install grub install system deboot or install refine let's use the new guy and then everything gets a little bit more complex you need to know what you're doing but if you are already a user from arclix then you know you recognize this our advice is always learn the english terms because you need to duck, duck, go it and find more information and solve your things or right know your technical terms ask ChatGPT for information but you need to know the technical terms so leave it in english is our advice kernels there are two kernels already on your system but you can decide to add more kernels no problem next some of the old machines require an extra package for video here it is in the beginning of the um, well the creation of the ISO SDM was not active that was scary that means if you forgot to select it if you forgot to do that you ended up in a black screen. And if you're a new guy, you have no idea what to do next. So by default, SADM is installed and is active. Right? Safeguard. LightDM is a choice, for instance, for, think about Linux Mint. Linux Mint is the, the origin for Cinnamon. And Cinnamon and LightDM, right, are a match. All Linux Mint. But here we take SEM as default. But you can overrule it and say, okay, install me LightDM and make it active. Will do. That will become active automatically. Same for all the others. Okay. You choose. SEDM as default, choose the rest. Then, like I said, if you don't select anything, even XFCE, if you don't select it, you end up with a nice, beautiful SEDM and nothing behind it. You need to select a desktop. We got rid of all the less than interesting desktops and the not working desktops and the not maintained desktops, basically. And we keep this bunch and all the desktops we've removed. You can see that in the video. We're gonna 
keep track of it in the ATT. The Arch Linux Tweak Tool is the way to install desktops after Calamaris. Calamaris is this, the installer. Okay, so I better choose something like Cinnamon, for example. And then next, there's also the possibility to go and install two things. Sway is out, as you see. We're gonna focus on Hyperland and Wayfire. And yes, guys, not in virtual machine. So I'm never gonna install this in virtual machine. Well, never say never. That is something I've learned from the project of Iconlix. Who knows at some point in time that it will work as well on, on virtual machine and so on. A bit uh, functional, working. Okay, next up. This is standard routine installation, right? This is what we've seen before. Packages from Arclex. And it's just a button. It's, I mean, click, you got it, install it. It's a package. So more and more things. Thanks to data, we have uh, Strawberry. Maybe you don't know that, it's a new thing. Clementine is out and Strawberry is in. So we stay in the fruit uh, business, so to speak. Um, so it's an audio player, music. All kinds of elements you can just add to your system, games, file managers, and anything you like. This is interesting to repeat again. If you're planning to go to ButterFS, that's a way to format your system, then either choose this or that. Otherwise, why bother, right? This helps you to go back to a previous state of your machine via time shift or via snapper. And then this is specifically for us, the dev guys, the development guys. Sometimes, well, when we develop things, we want to have all these immediately available. Just one click and everything is, is to come. <laughs> ah, no, no, don't do that. Okay, next. Brussels, yep, check. Belgian keyboard, choose your keyboard. By the way, you can click here. So I'm living somewhere else, right? And then make a game to click it again. See, ah, because Belgium is not that big. <laughs> next, <laughs> next, all right. And here we have this butter ass thing, right? If you want it, click it. And more choices. Basically, for me, I'm gonna stick to X4 and one of those choices. Next. Now we install everything. Well, this is the normal installation. Who are you? Give me your password and make sure the password is correct, that you don't have capital caps lock on or something like that. Your fingers are positioned correct if you're typing blind and maybe do a check again. Voila, <laughs> next. And install. There we go. We'll see each other again after um, the pause. Let's wait the, till the machine has installed everything. See you in a bit. And off we go. <laughs> Interesting a pause like that, right? I'll be right back. That's um, too bad. The official look is different, of course. When you install the machine, what you do is you pop out the USB. That's something you should do. And then you have a different view, of course. You just see our little icon and that's great. Looks as everything, oops, what am I doing, Eric? What am I doing? So this needs to go out, cancel. Let me do this. I don't want to make another video. <laughs> Third attempt. So this look, that's the look that we have. And now we talk a little bit about refined. So I stop the countdown because he's counting down. As you see with the arrow, I move about. This is reboot computer, shutdown computer. And this reboot to computer setup utility. So basically my motherboard, my setup in VirtualBox here. 
Use arrow keys to move cursor and now reading the text at the bottom, enter to boot, insert, tap or F2 for more options, escape, backspace to refresh. That means we have more than one kernel. Where is the other kernel? So a tap is the one that I'm using most often, gives us a choice, more choices basically, right? To boot into Linux and in this case, or at the upper case here, just the Linux kernel. So it's a choice, escape, tap, click, and we're booting in Linux Zen. So that's um, the whole video. What you do afterwards, as any user, you remove the stuff you don't want. You install the stuff that you do want. And there are scripts for that, but there are also tools for that. There is Sofiram, Software Installer and Remover. So that's an application you can just run afterwards. And basically it's your Calamaris selection. So Calamaris is to install stuff. And here again, right? VirtualBox, Control F, Control F, uh-uh. So we need to help him and say, look, there is more real estate on my screen. Really is. And it's in display in here. That one, apply it and then keep it and then this. <laughs> there we are, right? Nicer. And as you see, it's a little bit designed, not much, but there is a little bit. Well, first impression is everything. This is your look you get into. And then it's up to you, you go and design it the way you like it. So here is not only installing stuff, but also removing stuff. And we, we deviated a little bit. It's still an arc theme, but it's the arc dawn theme. So it's a darker blue, a gray blue. And um, you can see here font manager, you can remove it, that's installed. And here, Mint stick is installed, etc. By the way, that's coming from Linux Mint. So there you are. You have now an up-to-date system. You can remove things. You can do all kinds of things. And maybe something that we beta users and beta testers uh, are using. So if you do a clear, that's everywhere in Linux. There's something called use. Sometimes we'll ask you because things are getting complex, you type use. And basically, I know exactly that you're having the Arconet that it was built on April the 11th, a few hours back, that Cinnamon is installed on X11, Wayland session. There is an experimental Wayland session possible. Try it out, see if it works. You've chosen Refind as boot system, you have these kernels, but we're not using the Linux kernel, we're using the Zen kernel. And you've chosen to keep uh, the SEDM, otherwise it would say LightDM, Lie, etc. All right. Enjoy the new release. In a few weeks time, you'll have the ISOs available. We'll give them to, send them to AAG at some point in time and you can pre-test them but the official release i hope can be the first of may all right cheers <laughs>